What's going on? It's Rick from CodeWithIntent.com coming at you with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about how to authenticate users using Cognito with tokens. Let's get into it. Now, before I jump into it here, start showing you some code and start showing you some examples and all this fun stuff. Before I get to all of that, okay, I want you to stay all the way till the end of the video and you will know how to use tokens using Cognito. And for those few of you that don't know who Cognito is, let's just run through that real quick. Cognito is a service by Amazon uh, Web Services, you can see here. And Cognito allows you to do some pretty cool stuff. It allows you to be able to authenticate with uh, service providers like Amazon, uh, Facebook, Google, Twitter, and you can obviously integrate with multiple um, different platforms such as iOS, Android, Swift, and then web apps as well. And they allow you to do some pretty cool stuff like be able to uh, not store passwords on your own servers, be able to hand off all the authentication implementations like Auth 2.0, OpenID, and just let Amazon take care of all this for you. All you have to do is just implement it with API that they offer you for you to be able to create users, log users in, manage users, manage user profiles, all of that stuff that takes usually forever to get done on your app, they go ahead and just give you this built out solution for you that you can go ahead and use. And recently I've been working on a Node.js application that has user credentials, user profiles, and all of this fun stuff. But here's the gotcha. Uh, the Amazon Cognito doesn't have an official supported uh, server side Node.js way for you to be able to authenticate with their service. They have a Java, JavaScript SDK, but it is more for the client side. So Angular, React, that, that type of deal. So it's a little bit difficult to get it working on the server side. But, uh, you know, this is definitely possible, and I'm going to show you how to do it here specifically with tokens. All right, so now you know what Cognito is by Amazon. You know where the tokens are coming from, and you know we're working with a server-side application using Express. So it's a little bit different than, you know, working on a client side with something like Angular or React or Ionic or whatever you, whatever have you. Okay, so you, in order for you to be able to do this, you need to understand how refresh tokens work, access tokens, ID tokens, and then... Obviously, you need to use those three to be able to obtain a valid user session. Now, why would you want to obtain a valid user session? You need a valid user session to be able to do things like update attributes, get attributes from the user, and just be able to do a little bit more um, administrative work with the account using uh, Cognito. So you need those uh, valid procedures, valid tokens for you to be able to access this valid session that allows you to do this other things such as update attributes and all that fun stuff. Now, you usually get a valid session when you authenticate with the system, but since it's a uh, Auth 2.0, it's a stateless protocol where you don't maintain the state unless you have some sort of uh, um, way for you to be able to store these tokens to be able to recall that session. So that's what we were using the tokens. Uh, and then there is no uh, built-in internal storage per se on the server side. This is why I'm actually storing all the tokens on the user sessions. And then when the user session expires out, all those tokens get deleted. So that's how I'm going about it. Um, there's probably a cleaner way to do this, but for now, I think it's going to work fine. And here they are. So pretty much when you authenticate a user, uh, you know, username, uh, password, and then the user pool, user email for their username. And then you run this function called authenticate user. And then this returns you a, um, a session that is a valid session, quote unquote. And then from here, you can get the access token, the ID token, the refresh token. And what I do here is I attach it just to pretty much the Cognito user, which is just the user here that I'm creating. I attach the tokens just as a property as tokens. And then I resolve out with uh, with this uh, promise here to resolve back out to the users. And this right here, these access tokens are used later to be able to uh, actually obtain a valid session using the Cognito service. And as you can see here, right here, you can obtain the, the session once you're, whenever you, your application needs it. I mean, it doesn't have to be something specific, but whenever you need it, you can recall the tokens from your session right here, pass them in, and you have to pass them in this way or else you can't use them. They have to be in this format. It was kind of tricky getting that to work, but yeah, access token, token, access token, Cognito ID token, ID token, ID token, Cognito refresh token, refresh token, refresh token, and then finally session data, be able to actually pass those in into the Cognito user session. 
Here's where you get the user session. And then finally, you'll be able to actually create the user with the Cognito user data and then set the user sign in session. And then finally, you'll be able to uh, run all the operations you want on that user. As you can see here, we're using this Cognito user dot get session. Now you must run this to verify that the session is valid. Now this is actually done internally by the library. So whatever you do, yeah, make sure you run this get session in order for you to be able to validate if the session is valid because these tokens might expire out. So there you have it. Once you get here and it is valid, you can update the attributes or whatever else you want to do with the account. And if it's not, then you probably should report that back out to the user. So that's how you can go ahead and authenticate users with tokens using Cognito, using specifically Node.js and Express. That's how you will be able to go about it. Now there isn't really much Express code here. There isn't really you know, all of that, just because I wanted to keep it um, pretty vague on that, on the server side, right? Because you could be using anything else. I mean, there's tons. You could just be using JavaScript and Node and not even using Express. So this is why I didn't include any of the next functions. This is all just promises. So if you decide to put this into whatever way you're using JavaScript, you'll be able to do that. Just copy and paste the code over and you'll be able to implement it that way. All right. So there you go. Now you have it. Now you know how to actually use it tokens to be able to authenticate with Cognito. And before I go, I'm gonna show you something real cool here. I'm gonna to go to products. I'm gonna RSVP for the webinar. And if you already don't know, I have a free webinar that I'm offering here for the next couple of weeks that literally shows you how you can become a full stack developer and you'll be able to master things like authentication, right? The authentication is a big part of any application. So if you're interested, I'll drop you a link below. Go check out the webinar, RSVP. We'll have a great time. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to smash that like button. Click on the subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.